The Word of God for today helps us to understand three very important human activities. The first normal activity among human beings is to ask. Minsan nagtatanong tayo kahit alam mo na yung sagot. Halimbawa, yung teacher sa school, yung professor sa college, nagtatanong sila, alam naman nila yung sagot, pero tinetest nila yung estudyante. Halimbawa, sa gospel, nagtanong ang Panginoon, anong hinahanap ninyo? Alam naman ang Panginoon kung anong hinahanap, pero nagtanong pa rin siya para matulungan yung mga alagad. So some people ask questions even if they know. There are some people who don't ask questions because they are too proud. Kasi pag nagtanong ka, baka sabihin, tatangatanga ka. Pag nagtanong ka, baka sabihin, simple simple hindi mo alam. So some people do not ask questions and they don't like to be considered foolish, ignorant, or unlearned. Some people ask questions because they really don't know. For example, children ask their parents, Bakit may ilaw yung bumbilya? Bakit lumilipat yung araw? Bakit umuulan? These are children's questions, inquisitive questions, and the more they ask, the more they learn. My dear brothers and sisters, to ask is normal of human beings. Unfortunately, we are asking less and less questions because our inqui inquisitive attitude is being replaced or satisfied, for example, by ways. Dati, magtatanong ka sa mga tao, saan po ang papuntang dagupan? Ngayon, hindi mo na kailangan ng tao. Kailangan mo ng cellphone. Sasabihin sa iyo kung saan ka papunta. O, dati nagpapaturo tayo sa mga magulang. Pero ngayon, i-google mo na lang, mas matalino siya kaysa sa mama mo. But to ask is to be human. And to ask is to be a better human. Because when we ask, even if we know the answer, we are helping others to grow. You remember, the Lord asked Adam, Where are you? God knew where Adam was, but God wanted to ask for the sake of Adam. So, this Sunday, the first lesson is, Ask again. Asking is a sign of humility. Asking is the antidote to ignorance. And asking builds relationships between those who ask and those who are asked. The second human activity is to search. To search is a personal duty. To seek, to research, so that we can find. Samuel asked Eli, and then he searched and he stayed. The apostles asked, the Lord asked them, but there was something they had to do. They had to search. You remember only two weeks ago, we reflected on the Magi. The Magi asked Herod, the Magi asked the experts, and after asking, they did their own searching. My dear brothers and sisters, there are some things we must do that we cannot be spoon-fed because searching concludes in being successful and finding. Did not the Lord say, search and you will find? The Lord assures us, if you are patient, if you are persevering, if you are faithful, if you are courageous, 
you will find great things when you search. First is ask. The second is search. The third important lesson we must learn is after searching and finding, you must stay. Samuel heard the Lord and he stayed. Andrew, Peter heard the Lord and they stayed. James, John heard the Lord and they stayed. When you search and you find the Lord, don't ever leave Him again. When you search and you have discovered the Lord, stay by Him because you have the best one by your side. Three very important human activities. To ask, to search, and to stay. To ask, to search, and to stay. These are actions of people for whom God has beautiful plans. And you can only see the beautiful plans of God by the humility of asking, by the courageous and patient searching, and by the generosity to stay with the Lord, because none is better than Him. This Sunday, reflect on these three. Ask, search, stay.